Hey Stenvar. Huh? How you doing, buddy? Good. Let's go find something to fight. You're pushing your luck. Go get him, boys. Guess it's all clear now. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. <laughs> really? Alright, so it's come to my attention that Stenvar uh, received a couple brain injuries, so he's going to be sitting out for this episode, guys. Today we're going to be talking about four awesome player home mods that I found on Skyrim's PS4 mod market. Let's get right into it before they start judging me more than they already are, please. The first mod is called Great Quarter Apartment. What you're going to do to actually access this home is you're going to have to go here, which is the used goods store. You're simply going to then talk to the vendor and buy the deed, which will give you access to the house. Sadri's used wares is the name of the store. So you're gonna go here and you're gonna buy this. It is a little bit pricey, so come with a pocket full. I just wish to say that this mod is not multiple follower friendly. So you're really going to have to tell your followers to wait outside. One of them, max, is good enough. Maybe two. But as far as my situation goes, having like 20 of them. I've never actually counted how many I have. Yeah, having more than three is probably not a good idea considering that this is a small apartment, not an actual big, big home. Once you actually have the deed, make sure you read it. This will actually unlock the door. Inside you will see a very, very small crammed apartment where you're gonna have three floors. The first one is a kitchen and little dining area where you put your clothes right on the right and then you get a little cooking area. Right here on the left and the shelves you get your alcohol then you get some like uh, food ingredients right over there and then you get the stove. Heading upstairs it gets a little bit more interesting. You get some weapon racks, you get some armor racks and <laughs> what was that? <laughs> On the second floor, you get your enchantment table, you get uh, your alchemy station, you get shelves, you get some storage, and you get your bed. And then on the left here, you get a little shrine of Azora, you get some armor racks and weapon racks, and you get a cooking station. Another little cooking station with a little fire, just to be a little bit more comfortable. And on the final floor, you get your little dining area, and you get another little bit more storage. You get a little bit of everything with this mod. You get a tiny... It's like an apartment in Brooklyn, almost. Very cramped, but pretty homey, you know? It's just a very nice overall little apartment for you to just settle down. If you live in Windhelm, and you just want to live in the Grey Quarter, it's a nice little mod to have. It's really not that bad. It's pretty comfortable up here. So I honestly think that this is a pretty good mod to have. If you just like living in Windhelm or you wanted to live in the Grey Quarter with the other Dark Elves. It's a nice little mod. I definitely recommend you give it a shot. The next mod is called Windhelm Lair. And this can be found right outside Hijera. So whether you own the house or not, you can actually access the second player home. So it could either be an expansion to your home already, or it can be another separate home that you just visit from time to time. Let's take a look around. So, right here you have yourself some shelves. Nice. Here is a little, like a, like a bed area with like some bookshelves and just a little bit of a hanging out area. But you go downstairs and there right to your left is this you get your own little like living quarters you get your own little cooking pot your little dining area you've got this little storage space in the back corner of the room 
You get yourself a cooking pot. You've got a lot of different things to work with here. You get yourself an alchemy station, some more storage, and just an overall good place to hang out and just put stuff. Now we're getting to the interesting stuff. You got your own little boss area where you got your own desk, you got your bookshelves, you got a bunch of different cool things, and just a lot of space to walk around. And then down here, you got this. It's a pretty cool mod, I definitely recommend. You check it out if you live in Windhelm and you like Hegerum. The next mod is called Karth Valley Watchtower. You can find it right here on the map. Fair warning, the Forsworn have taken over the tower, so you're going to have to take back. And there's a legendary dragon that spawns here every time I fast travel here, so I don't know if that's mod incorporated or not, but you're going to have to deal with some angry Forsworn guys, and you're going to have to deal with an even angrier dragon when you arrive. Once you clear these enemies, the house and the tower are yours. So while my followers deal with the flying lizard, let's go right ahead and just go take a look around. Here we got ourselves a little guard barrack little area. So multiple follower system is actually kind of good for this mod because you can have your followers stay in the guard barrack since there are no guards anymore since the force weren't killed them all. But you can also actually just sleep in here if you want. It's a nice little area. Alright, so the dragon's twerking, so we're just going to ignore that. So, this tower is actually pretty unique. It's got its own little uh, unique decor, and it also has a little area or a little uh, boardwalk where you go up here, and now you have your own little smithing area. So you have your smithing area, and on the inside you get everything else. You get the alchemy, the enchantment, and whatever else you want. You get your own little, you know, Outlook. You get your own little balcony. This place is pretty nice. Right here, you can smith all your weapons and armor, and you can actually store some stuff in some of the containers right over here. And that's really it. I know I have my HUD turned off, but this guy's name is Captain. He's a captain. So, this is the basically where the lore of this place comes in. This place was a private little escape house for the Jarl of Markarth until it got overrun by Forsworn and the captain was ultimately killed as well as the rest of the guards. So there is just no escape for anybody in this situation. And then right in here you can find the letter from Jarl Igman. So this is Igman's bed. So you can literally sleep in the king's bed. Sven, sleep. See, even Sven can do it. Nice. We're just gonna let Sven sleep in there because he deserves it. After all the the bullying and the branding. Yeah, I believe he deserves a good sleep in a king's bed. See? Sven and the fan don't get bullied all the time. They're just bullied half the time and then rewarded. That's all. Anyways, you'll have your alchemy stations, your armor sets, and your weapon racks all in here. You got some nice weapon racks up there, you've got alchemy right over here, you've got your armor and weapon setups, and you've got some more extra stuff over here, such as your enchantment tables, you get some cool little design like cases here, and then you've got a bunch of random stuff on the shelves. You've got your scrolls that you can put anything into. You've got your soul gems. You've got your books and your spell tombs. And you've got a lot of other things as well. You've got your bed right here. And then you've got three massive coin purses. I'm taking all of these, even though I'm going to reload a save, because I am very, very greedy. So, that is a nice little room. And I honestly think this is the best part of the house. But we're not even done yet. That's only the first floor. I ain't even done yet. You get another armor rack right there. Now look at this. You go downstairs and look at this place. This is a nice, nice looking dining room. Take a look at this. Now 
This is fit for a king, isn't it? Let's just summon everyone down here. We need to take a look. Except for Sven, of course, because Sven is sleeping. So, you get your own little cooking stations right over here. You've got your own tomato and your potato bins. The toilet. If you don't want to pick the log, by the way, the guest bedroom key is right here. All in all, this is a very, very nice little place to just rest your head and just, you know, it's a very nice little vacation area and even a player home. It's a very nice little place. I definitely recommend you give this mod a shot. All right, guys, get ready to move. Got to get to the next player home. And we're done for the day. You can tell you're excited. Where's Sven? Is he still sleeping? There he is. Sven, get up. We gotta go. Come on. Sven? Guys, call the Temple of Mara. I think Sven's not okay. But, uh, we got mods we gotta review. So, yeah. Just, you guys take care of that. The final mod is called Stendar's Beacon Enhanced and Upgraded. This is going to be a total overhaul of Stendar's Beacon. It's going to add a lot of different player areas where it's just going to update the entire thing. This is perfect for people who are role playing as a Vigilant of Stendar. I actually have to Google where it is though. It's actually right here in the very bottom right corner of the map. Right, behind. right here is the usual vanilla interior and that door is the place we're going to to go and look at the new upgraded Vigilant of Stendar Beacon. So take a look at this. We got our own little training area. We got the beds and all that stuff. Very, very nice. We got ourselves some nice new stuff. So let's just take a look around here. This is where we want to be now. So over to the left, we got ourselves the library. The library looks exactly like how a really ancient library should look looks extremely extremely awesome with books all over the place I don't even know how you would get up there without the use of a ladder or magic this library looks extremely professional like it looks extremely just like an old-fashioned library it doesn't look anything out of the ordinary which is what I like about it it's very very lore appropriate and I think that's probably the most important factor of this mod is the fact that it's lore appropriate because who the hell wants toilets in Skyrim when you know damn well toilets didn't exist, they literally shat in buckets. So why do we have toilets? It just doesn't make sense. This library looks amazing, but we got a lot of other places to visit, so let's go look around there. In here, we got ourselves a little forbidden area. I almost just stepped in that. Let me just activate that so I can save face. And yeah, that's a little abandoned area, so there's not much there. Let's take a look in here. In here you have a little expansion of the library with two extra beds, and you have a nice little window area where you can look outside. No. Right here is a master lock. I want to get in here so I can no! this off. I only got 15 tries. No! Right before the library, you get your own little jewelry area. Well, it's not yours, but it does look really nice in here, too. Not really much else to it, though. Overall, the entire design of it just looks really, really nice. And it just looks really lore accurate, which is what I like about it. Right over there, you got your holding cells with a few vampires held inside them. And then on the left here, you got yourself something special. Right over here, you'll just see some extra storage and space but that is what we're looking at that right there actually holds a dungeon for you simply walk right up you walk up there and that's where you go back but this is where a dungeon will start this mod also incorporates a whole new dungeon with vampires and lore to go alongside it. It's a very, very, very cool mod overall. So not only do you get to roleplay as a Vigilant Stendar with your own player home, your own library, your own 
little living quarters. You also get a whole dungeon to explore a whole new dungeon. So this mod is a double whammy, really. It's a very, very good mod. I highly recommend you try it out. The deeper you go into this mod, the more interesting it becomes because the lore only expands. It only gets bigger and bigger and it just looks so much better. It's definitely worth the time and the effort to download this mod for sure. You know, I wonder what's down there. I do really want to get down there. Hey Cicero, can you do me a favor? Yeah. You good down there? Um... Alright, call up the Temple of Mara. We got ourselves yet another injury, so... Yeah. You know, I genuinely believe that this is one of the most underrated mods on the mod market. It is extremely mysterious, lore accurate, well made, there's no lag, there's no crash issues, there's nothing with like that. This is by far one of the best player home, dungeon, and expansion mods that you can get if you ever, if you if you're even just in general, but especially if you like the Vigilance of Stendar. I highly recommend this mod. It's definitely worth the shot. Intelligent. Could you just go in there and pick up Sven, Stenvar, and the fan? They got Good afternoon. pretty hurt today. I need to go do something, but could you just go and, you know, pick them up, bring them back? Right away. Thanks, bro. Milk. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Still not outside yet? I told him to wait right outside. All right, well, I guess I gotta do everything by myself, huh? Can't ask for any help around here. And also, where's Teldrin? Where is he? What the hell happened in here? Are you kidding me? Teldrin? Okay, let's just... Uh... Hey guys! How's it going? 